part of what I'm having for my brunch today. I've already had a banana this morning, and of course, I've put aside 400 milliliters of my unsweetened almond milk for my first healthy extra egg. What's in my omelet? Two ounces of fat-free cottage cheese, which is a free protein on Slimming World, along with two eggs, which are also free protein, and about four ounces of Japanese sweet potato and some seasoning. So that's going to be part of my brunch along with a salad. This is my brunch packed up and ready to go. Here I have a salad which is made from mixed greens and some sweet Vidalia onion and tomato. Those are all speed foods. I also have a handful of grapes in there. Grapes are a free food. I have put half of my second healthy extra A on here which is the low uh, reduced calorie feta cheese. I also have a couple slices of baked ham which are free protein on Slimming World, provided that all fat is removed. This has no fat. And I also put three sins worth of this basil infused olive oil, along with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which is a free condiment. And in here I have packed up my omelet. So we're all ready to go, and this is going to be my brunch for today. Three sins. What I'm having for my dinner tonight, I have some broccoli florets, which I chopped up, and I added in some rotisserie chicken breast to that, and the other half of my healthy extra A, which in this case is fat-free cheddar cheese, and on top of that, I have some roasted Japanese sweet potatoes. I will be eating a lot of those, even though I, I totally enjoy eating them, but I had to make a very large one, and now I have to eat it, so you'll see more of that, I'm sure. And on top, I also added one tablespoon of this GU's sugar-free original barbecue sauce for five calories, so I don't track that for sins or anything. And so I'm going to go and eat my dinner now. This morning, I decided to use my Healthy Extra B for the day to make quick oats pancakes. What I have here is 40 grams of quick oats, to which I added four ounces of boiling water, and then I covered it with the dish that you see here and put it aside for five minutes. In this bowl, I have one egg, one half of a ripe, uh, ripe banana, and two ounces of fat-free cottage cheese, if you can see back there, and I put it into the Nutribullet and blended it. So I'm gonna combine these two bowls, what's in these bowls, and then I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of baking powder, and I will show you what uh, this comes out like when I plate it in the end. I also added in some cinnamon. I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I turn it. It's all bubbled up and um, it looks like it's getting dry around the edges, which is what we like when we make pancakes, right? And I wanted to let you know that it took about a minute and a half to get to this um, level of cooking. I don't know, for lack of a better word right now. And I did put a cover on this and I cooked it on medium heat after I heated the pan up thoroughly. and put butter cooking spray. Just flipped it and this is what we have. So in a couple minutes or less, this will be ready to plate and I'll be ready to make the next one. And here is my breakfast. So I got five pancakes on the smaller side. And then what I did is I put some cinnamon on top and some of the vanilla powder that we all know how much I love that. And the other half of the small banana sliced up. I also want to let you know that I did add a packet of organic stevia to this mix before I cooked it and I also added in one teaspoon of baking powder not one half so I am off to enjoy these smell really good and of course they're not pancakes like we make out of a box but you know what this is healthy and I cannot wait to dig in and enjoy a healthy breakfast that's going to fill me up this is what I'm having for lunch today, an extra large salad, which is full of speed food. The only thing that is not speed in the salad is um, are the grapes. So I have some romaine, some mixed greens, some raw, um, raw sweet onion, some beets, some artichoke hearts, and a handful of grapes, which are free food. I also have about three ounces of uh, low sodium roasted turkey breast which is a free and protein food, and I have 30 grams of feta cheese, which is half of my second healthy extra A for the day. And then I put six sins worth of 
this basil infused olive oil, which is quite delicious by the way, and a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, which is a free condiment. So full of speed, lots of protein and yumminess. And I also put some seasoning on it and I'm going to go pack this up. And when I'm have, when I have my lunch later, I surely will enjoy it. I am really feeling under the weather tonight. So I have decided that I would have this um, Simply Nature lentil organic soup. I'm charging myself one cent for this because most of the canned soups are sen, except the Weight Watchers, which I can't get here, at least not in New York where I live. So that's what I'm having for dinner. And in there, I also put some sweet potato um, that I had already previously made. And I put the other half of my healthy, uh, second healthy extra egg, which is the grated cheese. So this is dinner, and if I have anything else, you will know. Feeling a bit hungry now, so I've decided to have some homemade rice pudding with some yogurt, mango, and a bit of whipped cream. So the rice pudding is one cent for the almond milk that's in it. The rice is a free food on Slimming Worlds. The mango is also a free food. It's not sweetened, it was previously frozen. And then I have one cent worth of the Oikos Triple Zero Vanilla Yogurt and one cent worth of whipped cream. So there's three cents for this dessert and I am going to go enjoy now. Well, hello there YouTube family. I am back to close out this video. So you've seen Friday and Saturday's days of eating. I must tell you that I'm still not feeling well and um, I'm more concerned about not being able to go to work on Tuesday. I feel badly, but I don't see myself going to work on Tuesday. I know I have to be symptom free for 24 hours to return to work and I don't see myself being symptom free tomorrow and 24 hours later going to work from the way I feel right now. But I'm not complaining. I'm sick and I'm going to get well, but it's just that it's an inconvenience. Obviously being sick to me is always an inconvenience. I hate being sick. I have no patience. Anyway, um, how have I done? I think I've done very, very well for the last two days, honestly, considering that I'm still not feeling well. Um, and um, all of that, that it brings with it, because let's face it, I, if you're anything like me, when I don't feel well, I just eat whatever. And it's usually not good things. So the fact that I'm not feeling well and that I am eating well throughout the day, I'm just going to leave it at that. Did I eat over my sins? I'm sure I did. Um, if I didn't eat over my sins, cause truthfully, I told you what they were meal by meal, but I didn't even add them up. That's my bad. Um, I did overeat. I definitely overeat in calories cause let's be serious and truthful in the end of the day, whatever plan you're on, even if you're on keto in the end of the day, it's about calories. So those are things that need, that's something that needs to be taken into consideration. I am not tracking calories. Thankfully I'm not. Um, bless those who are my friend, Nikki and Katie, um, God bless you. I did it for a very long time and loved it right now. Uh, I don't see myself going back to that, but nothing is in stone with me ever. So I'll never say never anyway. Um, so I'm going to focus on the positiveness, the good stuff, because I think given the fact that I'm sick and even if I wasn't sick, I'm doing the best I can, which is all I can do. And that is not to make an excuse. I think that there are times when we can use that as making an, and make as an excuse. Uh, and there are times when you're just doing the best you can under your circumstances and nobody else would look at that or if they were living that, say otherwise. Um, especially when you're not feeling well or in the case of grieving, in the case of having a sick family member, things are not perfect. Even, nothing is perfect ever. So all of that being said, I'm very happy and pleased with myself. I don't know what my scale will say Friday. It may say it went up. It may say it went down or stayed the same. But you know what? I have some things to celebrate. I am not feeling well and I have created meals for myself that are completely healthy meals on plan and I'm going to focus on that. And in fact, I, I happened to look back on some of my videos today and I did watch one where I was talking about this. I think it was from seven or eight months ago where I talked about we tend to um, focus on things that are negative. We go gravitate to it because the negative stuff is about the scale 
and the scale didn't have a good number on it this week. It, it wasn't nice to us. Scales are not people. They can't be nice or not nice, but we refer to them as if they are people, right? And um, we tend to lose focus of the good things we've done. Did I put some good meals together for myself? Yeah. Am I going to sit here and say, oh, I sabotaged myself because I ate more calories than I probably should have? No, I'm not going to do that. Did I eat over my sins? Not eat over my sins, all that good stuff. I'm not going to do that. And I encourage you to focus on the positive things you are doing because positivity generates positivity. It's more, um, what did I, how did I work on my goals? You know, did I, I put a good play together of healthy food? Is that working on a goal? Did I succeed in doing that three times today for my three meals or whatever? You know, that will manifest good stuff for us. If we put out there our happiness with ourselves as opposed to our unhappiness because unhappiness breeds more unhappiness. That's just how I look at it. I could be wrong. These are my own personal opinions um, based on my life, not yours, but just things to think about. So um, this is where we're at for Friday and Saturday, and hopefully today's going to go just as well and tomorrow, and I'm going to be on a roll with this, and I'm just going to focus on staying on plan. I am not going to focus on anything other than that. Um, I do weigh and measure, I tend to weigh and measure carbs and protein, and I've explained before. The reason I do that is to make sure I get enough protein, and I'm a carby person. I love my carbs, and I'm going to tend to add more potatoes than less, and potatoes do weigh. You could look at four pieces of potato, five pieces, depending how big they are, and they could be three ounces. So that's something that I am interested in knowing, not for, not for anything more than that I'm not overeating them. Because I do tend to like my carbs at every meal. You know, it's not the same as if I, I mean, the chances of mine, let's say I have eight ounces of carbs a day for at lunch for a dinner, right? I don't think I'm, I think that if I'm looking at my plate and I'm trying to do a third of carbs on my plate or even a quarter, that more than eight ounces in one plate is going to look like more than eight ounces, more than four ounces to me. I think I, I could eyeball that enough to know there's too much if I were eating just one meal a day um, or even putting eight ounces of on my plate for any meal let's say right so four ounces to me is a lot different when I look at what four ounces looks like to me it looks like not four ounces it looks like less so I pretty I like to be aware of that because I do enjoy carbs at my lunch and at my dinner and in the breakfast meal I may have some as well. So it's important to me that I don't go over 12 ounces a day because that would be too much for me, for my weight, height, and age. That's all I'm talking about. I'm not talking about being obsessive about this. Just something for me to be aware of. That's all. Um, the whole premise of Slimming World is that we don't weigh and measure. And I don't, except if it's thin food, if it's an A or a B in terms of your healthy extra A's and your healthy B for the day. So those things, yeah, you have to weigh and measure, but the rest of it, they, they don't encourage it. In fact, to me, sometimes I feel like it's even a little discouraged. But if you're in my category of weight, height, and age, after a while, calories really do matter, you know? Um, so it's something for me to be aware of. That's all I'm trying to say. And I did really want to explain that because some people may be looking at what I'm doing and saying, you know, that's not how we do Slimming World. But everybody does do Slimming World a little bit different. Not all of us that are on YouTube who do, do Slimming World. Um, some of us do things a little different and we're honest about it, but some of us also may not do things a little bit different because we're making a video and whatever we're putting in the video, we want to make sure it's according to plan, right? Not here to fault anyone, but that may be just what happens. So I would rather be upfront with you and let you know exactly what I'm doing so that we don't have to have any questions about that. Um, you do it your way. I do it my way. In the end, all we want to do is eat healthy and lose the weight, right? So, so far, I am not really being very successful at that for a gazillion different reasons that I've already told you about. But I am not giving up and I will continue doing this and I'm going to go forward. This is a lifestyle change for me and it is one that... I am embracing and 
if I start doing a few things a little differently, I am going to succeed again at losing this weight, or at least part of it. I may never go back down to the original 133.8, but you know what? The bottom line of it for me now is I'm not in my healthy weight zone. I need to lose a few pounds to get back down there, but that even as an aside, I'm also not morbidly obese anymore, okay? And I'm also doing my best to try and eat healthy, which is a goal for me. And I think I'm doing pretty well with that, considering even with night eating, because all the other all the other eating I'm doing during the day is completely on plan, unless I tell you otherwise. So these are things that I want to celebrate. And I suggest to you that you sit back and you do some reflection about how things are going for you. And you make a list for yourself of things that are going well and take a really good look at that list. Because you may find that you're doing a heck of a lot better than what you think. And I think it's important to celebrate that if that is happening. And if it's not happening, that does not mean that you cannot start doing this one meal at a time. You know, in the morning, okay, I'm going to have a healthy meal this morning. And then whatever happens the rest of the day happens. But at least if you know you've done one good meal, you can build it into two and three, then you're on the right road, right? Even if it goes awry a little bit. It's life. It, it may go awry a little bit, but you can reel it back in by knowing that the rest of your meals in the day or, or part of the meals in the day were good, healthy meals on whatever plan you're on. Just my take on it. Anyway, it's 10 minutes in. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to wish you and your family many blessings, as I always do. I'm going to wish that you do not but one thing to take care of yourself today, but many, many things always because you're important and you have value and worth and you need to do that for yourself. No one else can do it. And I'm going to send you these great big hugs. If you didn't need one for today, please save it for a day when you do. They don't go bad and they don't expire. And I'm going to look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I'm going to thank you very, very much for having watched this one today. Bye-bye now.